Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we are looking at a Legend League base based on the 2020 World's Qualifier bases, and we're gonna take a deep diver in. We're gonna take a deep dive into that base, and we're gonna see how it goes in the Legend League. So, we're gonna look at four different attack strategies from four different players, and first up is the uh, Zap Quake and Dragon attack. So this is one of the Nova bases from the World Championship Qualifier, and with a Legend League army here, we're going to see how it holds up, and we're going to see, um, and we're going to have the link in the description. So, it's taking down the CC with the Zap Quake, and one Dragon for Funnel, Dragon for Funnel on the other side as well, as well as the Heroes. So, he also has the the dragons on the left side. And he used the king to try and get into the scattershot compartment, but doesn't quite get there. You might have the, the queen might lure him in. Yeah, that's right. And he uses the blimp to take care of the town hall, while the dragons just sort of uh, fly around it. The king isn't quite powerful enough to get to the queen and the scattershot there, so he doesn't end up surviving that area as well. So that's one of the reasons why you have the heroes by that scattershot area, because it makes it a little bit harder to sui. Uh, even though you don't need a wall breaker, you do need a lot of funnel, and you also need a lot of firepower in there. So you have the archer queen on the left side and the RC on the right side, sort of for that reason. So on the back end here, we have both of the remaining single Inferno Towers, and it's not going to be a good omen for these dragons. It's just not going to be possible to get through those uh, and get the 3-star for this base. So part of the reason why it's difficult to do dragons on this base, although you might have better luck with Dragbat or something, but it'll need to plan that out a little bit more. So that's it for the Dragon Zap Quick attack. And next up is going to be Hybrid. So, Hybrid attack on this base. It's sort of difficult to choose an angle here, but you need to keep in mind the Town Hall. So I think that's what he's trying to do here. Luring the CC at the top, and it's um, Hound and Headhunters as usual. Queen on the bottom side, although it might be a problem here in that having the CC lured out before you take down the the single Inferno Tower isn't quite the best idea, but it looks like he's trying to get the Hound over to the King, which might work. But having the Skelly Trap there as well is going to slow down the Queen, but he does successfully get the Hound over to the King with some luck. but. Queen isn't quite getting to the town hall or the inferno tower, so he's gonna have to drop a couple of troops there. Unless he just ignores it. He goes for the siege barracks as well. So that's actually a pretty good idea. But he puts everything into the town hall area. And although that makes sure you get the town hall, it's gonna be difficult to get any extra percent, because almost all of the percent is on the top side of the base. Like, if you just take down the bottom side, the 6 o'clock side with the uh, where the town hall is uh, there's like 40% on the top side like walkable from the outside from the um, like with the queen and with the trash on the top side as well as 3 builder huts up there really make it difficult to get to the uh, higher percentage ranges with um, any attack from the bottom side, so it's the same story with um, with Almost all the Yeti smash attacks on the space is you have to get the town hall, but makes it difficult when almost all of the percentage is at the top of the base. So you're left with 55 percent of this base, not quite good enough for Legend League. So that's part of what it makes it pretty powerful is that a lot of times you get fails with low percentages. So even though you may get three start a couple of times. 
you can get enough low percentage defenses to make up for it, depending on your trophy level. So here we have a Yeti Smash attack. So we looked at dragons and hybrid, and here's the Yeti Smash. Dealing with the bottom side with the Warden. It's going to take a very long time, but you don't have much hope of a 3-star in this base, so it's totally fine to waste a lot of time with the with a Warden Walk on this bottom side. So he's trying to get the single Inferno with the Warden, but I think he ends up actually getting the Town Hall with the Warden. Which is kind of a problem, because you want the Warden with your troops, not just off on his own getting... Uh, getting half the base taken out. Although maybe that's a good idea for a couple of different strategies. It'd be interesting to, um, to experiment with that a little bit. So, with the Warden and trying to get through this bottom side with the Queen as well. Queen and the Royal Champion as well. So, Warden ability used on that side, but they weren't really taking a lot of damage, but the single Inferno might have been left up. And the Warden, or the stuff on the right side is actually taking care of the Town Hall. It must have been thinking about a different attack. So, with all of that out of the way, it's just not going to end up in a high, very high percent. And you can see that from the attack log, or the defense log, is there's a lot of 70 and lower percent attacks because of having all the trash at the top of the base. And that makes it really difficult to get the town hall and the percent, unless you get the three star somehow. So it makes it a difficult attack, difficult base to attack in Legend League. And that's sort of what you're going for, is you're hoping to stop three stars but even if you can't do that you can make up for it with a lot of low percent two stars and um the deceptive base layouts like that is a way to get that done so last and not least we have we have to go to another account in order to find a different attack strategy and here is e-drags being used by one of the top clans uh cup up baby i think ended up really high on the leaderboard last season. I'm not sure exactly where. But with this E-Drag attack, uh, very popular. Using the Warden right away is interesting. Because you don't have the Warden for the blimp, but if you get far enough into the base with the E-Drags, then you don't really need the uh, blimp, the Warden for the blimp. So, makes up for it. And now he does get a lot of the trash taken out from the top side, which improves his percentage a lot. And with the blimp, he's able to take care of the town hall as well. So that means that this is one of the sort of more successful attacks that you can do. Um, and I wouldn't expect less from a member of Cup of Baby, so... The... And yet the base still holds up. So there's a lot of defenses left. And also two air defenses. So the E-Drug attack really works well in more compact bases, which is more popular these days. But does get good percent on most bases. So that's why it's, it's still popular. And this base is sort of a combination. It's more spread out. And it's also... A little bit harder to deal with so with that skelly trap oh, <laughs> rc goes down before the skelly trap is able to get her but even if she had more health she wouldn't have been able to get through the archer tower at the very last or the two archer towers actually that were left up so yeah that's the rest of the base so i hope you enjoy the base and i hope it works well for you in legend league um let me know in the in the comments so i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something i've been raised gaming and i'm out